We continue our journey with Christ today, day three of Holy Week and our second edition. Today we center our thoughts and prayers on the answer God gave to the lawyer. Let's hear from Isra. The reading is taken from Mark chapter 12 verses 28 to 31. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another and seeing that he answered them well. He asked him, which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, the first is, hear O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. This is the word of the Lord. Tonight we give our prayers of thanksgiving for those who have been good examples to us and in their lives show us what life ought to be. For those who have been an inspiration to us and fill us with the desire to make of life a nobler thing. For those who have been a comfort to us, especially when we experience hurt, pain and anxiety. For those who have been a strength to us and in whose company we feel able to undertake great tasks. 
and for those who have influenced us for good by their works, writings, and words. And Father, for those whose love and care, service and understanding we have taken for granted, please receive our thanks in your holy name. And then we thank you most of all for Jesus, your Son, whose life is the pattern of our lives, whose teaching enables us to live as we ought, whose death is the means of our salvation, and whose presence is the means of our victory. We thank you, God. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen